everything in the universe has so much uncertainty. It's moving, it's very dynamic. But it is such a beautiful symphony all the time. I am from Puerto Rico. The town I grew up is a tiny town, itty bitty tiny. Like I never knew what a PhD degree was, that some people acquired that. I developed diabetes when I was a child. That caused for me to develop diabetic retinopathy and to lose my, my sight. To me, that was uh, a, very sad at the beginning. And I didn't want to tell anyone. So the professor will write on the blackboard and he would write a theorem. I would hear only the chalk on the blackboard. I felt like I had been excommunicated from the field, completely excommunicated. I had never had the opportunity to look through a telescope. but it has given me tools to rediscover myself. I am an astrophysicist and a computer scientist. I study the universe through sound. The universe is big and I want to study it all. People ask, how do you do it? They're used to people just looking at the sky. But sound can make something clear when it is not just something clear to the human eye. Each piece of data is given a sound. That can be a piano, it can be an arp, or it can be a human voice. Everything in the universe has its own voice, has like its own personality. The way it behaves, the way it communicates. If I convert into sound different measurements and I listen to them, it will sound like a symphonic orchestra. You can get a sense of the science inside of that orchestration. In the past, People spoke about the music of the spheres. That the universe exists in this wonderful harmony. Because if we only see with our eyes, our perception is very narrow. 